In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine if what you have is a function or not. And here we have two functions, function f and function g. And yes, a function can be a set of points. We'll talk about other types of functions later. But function f is these three points, and function g will be these five points. And the x values make up the domain of a function, and the y values make up the range of a function. And basically that means that the input values are the domain and the output values are the range. Now when you're checking to see if what you have is a function, technically we say that for each and every x there has to be exactly one y. And that sounds confusing, so let me explain it to you this way. Let's suppose that the x values are men and the y values are women and we have square dance partners pairing up let's say the men must have only one partner from the range of women if the range is women if they have more than one partner it's not a function now it's okay for a member of the range that is the women here to be paired up with more than one from the domain the men but the men have to have exactly they, the men have to have only one partner from the range so considering it that way we can say that yes this is a function from this f function is a function because each one of these has only one corresponding value from the range. Now if you look at the range values, this zero is paired up with two values from the domain, but that's okay. Remember that women can have more than one square dance partner from the domain. But what we've got to make sure of is that the men are not paired up with more than one. Okay, let's take a look at this g function now and I've relisted these points down here. You Hopefully you've noticed that by now. Um, now here we have a problem. The function or the, the value 4 is being paired up with more than one value from the range. Okay and that's what that's the only reason that this is not a function. That causes this to not be a function. We have one, if we call these square dance partners again, the men and the women, we have one guy here that's trying to pair up with two different women square dance partners from the range. So for that reason, we have to say that no, this is not a function. And it's all because of Mr. Four trying to pair up with more than one from the range. Now it's okay that this negative seven is paired up with three different domain values. We don't have to worry about the range values being paired up with more than one value from the domain. What makes the difference is when there's a domain value that's being paired up with more than one range value. So it's not a function simply because of number four here trying to be paired up with more than one range value. Now let's look at some graphs. Now we have another test that you can use when you're trying to determine if a graph is a function or not. And it's called the vertical line test. And it works like this. If I can draw a vertical line on my graph and make it pass through more than one point on my function, then it's not a function. Now I can't do that here. I can't draw that vertical line anywhere and make it pass through more than one point on this red line. So I have to say that yes this is a function. It does not fail the vertical line test. It passes the vertical line test. It only fails the vertical line test if my vertical line passes through more than one point. Let's take a look at, at the second one. 
I can draw a vertical line here and make it pass through more than one point. It's passing through a point right here and right here. I could have done that over here or just about anywhere on this oval shape. Now if I draw the line over here it's okay but the problem is if I can draw the line anywhere and make it fail the test then it fails the test and this does fail the test so we have to say no it's not a function okay let's take a look at this one now if I draw the line here it's okay if I draw the line here it's okay however if I draw the line here it passes through a whole bunch of points and that makes it fail the test so we have to say no it's not a function no okay let's go down to this one now okay right here passes the test right here passes the test over here passes the test I can't make this one fail the vertical line test so I have to say yes it's a function okay next one <clears throat> pretty simple fails the vertical line test passed through more than one point right there so it fails the vertical line tests I have to say no it's not a function let's go over here right here passes the vertical line test right here passes right here passes I can't make it fail the vertical line test it's only passing through one point wherever I go on there so I'm gonna have to say yes it's a function okay we got one more set for you over here and a function can be a series of points as we saw in our first illustration and so let's check these with the vertical line test notice that right here I can make this fail the vertical line test so I have to say no this one is not a function okay next one now I can't make this one fail the vertical line test let me change colors here. Don't want to confuse anybody. Okay. Passes the test, passes the test. Now even over here, it passes the test because it's only passing it's not passing through more than one point, even though it's not passing through any points. That doesn't matter. No matter where I draw this line, it's gonna pass it's not gonna pass through more than one point. So yes, it's a function. okay next one now anywhere I draw the line if it's a vertical line it's not gonna pass through more than one point so pretty simple yes it's a function okay next one notice right here it will fail the vertical line test so I have to say no it's not a function and of course on this one fails the vertical line test miserably right here passes through a great number of points and it also fails the vertical line test over here so very simply it's not a function okay over here it passes the vertical line test, passes, passes, then there's a gap, passes. Even in that gap, I'm not passing through more than one point. I'm not passing through any points, but I'm not passing through more than one point. And over here it passes. So that passes the vertical line test, and I must say, yes, it is a function. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can tell if you've got a function and I hope this has helped you understand how to test for a function.